please, please. Uh, 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 there is a musician in Zambia. His name is Muzo. Those of you that follow me on Facebook, you are following the story, right? Yes. He's, a, he's a great musician. He, he's, the, he's the toughest rapper in Zambia. He doesn't have competition. But people gathered around and took his brain. They took, they took his brain. They made him a spiritual slave. Whatever he's waking in the realm of the spirit, physically, other people are eating it. And this guy, the first day I met him, I met him in Solwezi. When I went to perform so, uh, crusade, I went to crusade to perform miracle in Solwezi. I saw him, and, and his song was so nice. His rapping was so touching. I couldn't believe it. I said, ah, does Africa have a person like this? I told my chairman, Mr. Kebi Mutetete, the CEO of Torres Engineering, I told him to say, please, go and tell that guy that I want to see him. He will not last. Because enemies surround him. And I grow brain here one after the other. They are stealing his brain one after the other. At the end of the day, they will push him on the street. He will start behaving like a mad person. And when you are behaving like a mad person, the more you are aggressive, the more you are using your power, physically, the more they are getting wealthy. We tried everything we could to talk to him. Nothing. You know, our problem in this generation is that our, our problem is that people don't believe. Especially musicians. When you tell a musician to say, see, I want, I want to see you. Just like I told Peter B. See, I want, I want to see you. Ah, Afghan, the prophet, they want money. Our prophet, it's not every prophet that is looking for money. Before we started this work, God already blessed us. Can you hear Jacob again? See, I want, I want to see you, my brother. Let us work on your brain to secure the little one that you are. Ah, ah, sake. What is that? This prophet, that prophet. I said, okay, leave him. Everything we tried to do to get hold of him, it, it failed. There was no result. Few years down the line, he's on the street. He's behaving like a mad person. A prophet. A great rapper. Great rapper, somebody that please, if you want, go and Google Muzo. You see, somebody when he's rapping, no one could stand to, to, to a bat a rap bat, battle with him. He was number one today. You know what he does? He gathers children on the street and he'll be rapping for them. Hey, what's all right? It's mad. And this thing happened many years ago, many, many years ago. Many, many years ago that you can, but when I look at him, I want to heal, heal him, I want to touch him, I want to look at his wife, I want to look at his family, because I know we have to touch. I leave him. But last week, I said, Godfather, can we restore this person now? I said, yes. Let's restore him. Ask the family to bring him to Nigeria. I took, I took my phone and called the mother. I said, Mama, how are you? He said, fine. I said, I want to help you. I want to help your son. I know what your son is going through. What is going through, no one on earth can heal him. Except me, if you want, you can try. The mother was very happy. The mother was so excited. She said, tomorrow I'm going to pick him where he is to bring him close so that we can start preparing to come to Nigeria for you to heal him. I said, don't worry. Flight ticket I will pay. I'm going to send the immigration officers to your house in Zambia so that they can make passport for him. She was very happy. Do you know what happened? All of a sudden, celebrities in Zambia, everyone remember the boy. They say, your problem is not prayer. Your problem is rehabilitation. 
How can you rehabilitate a spiritual problem? And a Lara. We're in cases I'm again. From nowhere, a man that has been mad for years, a man that has been on the street, roaming the street, they were seeing him every day. They didn't do anything. But the day that God remembered him. Do you know what happened? Enemies came. And you know, they are giving big money. This one is giving 20,000. That one, 30,000. That one, 40,000. A rehabilitation center in Zambia that has seen this boy suffer for years has now offered to rehabilitate him. What is devil trying to do? To block the prayer. Because they know that once I touch his head, everyone that is involved, everyone that took something from him, they will go mad instantly. Now they are blocking it. They are blocking it. They are trying to use every forces to make sure that it doesn't come to Nigeria to be saved. I want to use the opportunity to tell you that if he doesn't come to Nigeria, I will follow him to Zambia. So long as Godfather has approved because who are you? Onyewo, Onyewo, madam. Chai, Godfather destroyed the government of Guyana. Doya vam 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 tiri uronye ke eti dia. In your own country, Zambia, Godfather destroyed BF. Please, please. No matter how influential you think that you are are you influential than pf a party in power a government in power where is he today no one has ever challenged godfather and remained the same i want to warn you godfather is interested in muzo i want to warn you Go, all of you that are talking to the family no if you go there they will initiate him please that boy is already mad we want to remove the madness the devil come to steal to kill and destroy there is nothing we are going to steal from him you have already stolen everything from him you have destroyed his life what are we going to destroy we want to return what was stolen and restore him back to normal. If your hand is there, please look at PF, look at Eddie Galungu, all the people that challenge Siawan, look at Bowman Lusambo, look at Chitotela, look at GPM, look at Chishimba Kambuye, look at Sunday Sinyangu. Authority! No one has ever challenged me and win. If you think that you are ready, if you think that you are strong, we can go in this battle. But I will tell you that if care is not taken, if care is not taken, if you dear Godfather, if you want to block, other people will raise your children for you.